Can you see? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Susan Kleckner uh, led the crew. Is she coming? I th she might be. Good. I hope she is. They did a good job of filming it. Everybody looks so relaxed. <laughs> It was a very different parade than in those days. I mean, we were very afraid. Uh, we didn't know what would happen to us. And uh, <laughs> maybe our mothers would see us on the evening news. <laughs> it was very scary. We look very brave, but maybe we aren't. There's still. But, you know, among ourselves, we, we felt strong, but then seeing the faces lined up against us on the streets, it was different. This footage of the 1971 Christopher Street Liberation Day Parade and Gay Inn was shot by the Women's Liberation Cinema, a group that included Kate Millett, Susan Kleckner, Robin Mead, Lenore Bode, and others. They were working on a documentary, which would premiere later that year, called Three Lives. What you're looking at is raw footage. It's a document of the day. Kate Millett says that the fact that there is something for us to look at, something tangible from their efforts shooting that day, is an accident of history. The images that we are watching unfold in a loop. They start at the end, the end of the march, that is, the gay inn in Central Park, and end again at the end, which is also the beginning. We will return to Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> 